All right, so we are going to do a bit of a break, I guess, from all the Japanese videos that we've been posting lately. My personal channel has become sort of like a Japanese learning sort of thing since my trip from Japan happened, my adventure in Japan. Not really a trip if you stay there for a long time, but basically I have been on that a lot, but I also want to post other things related to big moments in my life and highlights and all these other things that I have, all these other ideas basically for this channel, the personal channel. And I, I guess it's my second channel and I, I want to talk about my main channel today. My main channel, which is named Dreamlit, is actually now not going to be named Dreamlit. I'm going to change the name into my name. And my name is Scott Liu. This channel's name is Scotty Lou because the primary reason I named it that was because my family, uh, oftentimes my dad's side family, calls me Scotty sometimes. And it's because we're not, most of them are older than me. So when I was a kid, they would call me Scotty. And I thought it was sort of a, a nice, it was a very simple nickname, but it was nice. And it was like a cool sort of secondary thing. But for my, my main channel, I'm going to actually name it like my name name. So it's going to be very similar, basically Scott Lou versus Scotty Lou. But I think it's enough of a differentiator um, to be like, okay, this is the second channel and that's the main channel. And it's the same person because obviously the name is basically the same other than one letter. But it's been, I wanted to talk about a little bit of like how I got here and the main video itself shows a lot of it. But right now what I'm going to do is try to find a thumbnail for the main video because I don't like the auto-generated thumbnails. By the way, that's what I use for these videos oftentimes because I don't, I simply don't have the headspace or time right now to make good thumbnails. I am very focused on like the creation process rather than, or like the video creation process rather than the thumbnail creation process. And I totally understand though that for YouTube, like you, you want to have really good thumbnails if you want people to click on your video and view it. Um, but for the time being, I'm okay with just like making stuff and making stuff that I enjoy watching myself and also enjoy making and stuff I really want out there. And over time, I will try my, my best to actually improve my uh, thumbnail uh, process. But for the time being, it's okay. For the time being, I'm okay with most of my thumbnails just basically being like sort of me in it, I guess, more me thumbnails. But at a certain point, I think I will do more like actual photo stuff for thumbnails. So so like me making different types of expressions and faces and stuff like that. Uh, I just don't really want to do that yet. It's a process and I'm trying to take one thing one step at a time. But anyways, so right now I'm basically shifting, sifting through my video and like finding good screenshots I can take from the video I recorded of me talking to the camera. So that's that's the best I can do for my main vi main channel videos right now. Uh, I will definitely try harder for thumbnails once I start actually making like legit videos. This sort of end of Dreamlit video is not a legit video in my opinion. It's more so just like a announcement with a little bit of a story, I guess, just talking about how my main channel came about. And the basic story is that, you know, I started this channel with my friend and my cousin and we were supposed to do it together and stuff, but, but this was like right after college as well. So it kind of got lost in the process or like we weren't very, I don't know what I just said, sorry. This is what happens when I'm like focused on doing something else and talking at the same time. So we weren't very focused, I'd say. And for me, this this was like something I really wanted to do. It was more so my will versus theirs. They were sort of just in along for the ride. Um, and I I think that they were great like units, great like people, supporters, great like friends, family members that were capable of delivering. But it was me who really, really wanted to make it a, a sort of like a team where we're all equals, all contributing equally and whatnot. And I think that was my primary mistake back then, was that the amount of effort that you put into something and the, yeah, the amount of effort that you put into something like should be reflected on the amount of will because they were more so just along for the ride and it was sort of like my thing. 
I should have been the one who really, really led the reins and, and just like should have not have tried to make it more of an equal thing, but played the leader role, not played, but like actually be the leader. So I, in my opinion, was a very, very bad leader. This was again, right after college. So I have no real leadership experience other than in college, I was like a choreographer, I guess. I wasn't a very good one, I'd say. Um, oftentimes I'd have other friends being uh, telling people for me to like quiet down and, and to pay attention and stuff. I wasn't the one who was doing it. So I'm very grateful for them when they did that. But now I feel like I would be a much, much, much better leader compared to back then. Like something about just life experience in general really helps with perspective and and just being able to communicate better, like having talked to so many people over time, right? And I think after all that I've experienced, now I can be that leader that I should have been back then. But, you know, obviously my friends and my family members that were helping me back then who were in it with me are no, no longer, you know, they're doing their own thing now. So it's not really a viable option to actually legit start a YouTube channel with them and stuff. And for the most part, I've, I've gained like a really, really big sense of independence, I guess, in regards to YouTube. I'm just like really, really focused on doing, make, creating the video ideas that I have and bringing to life like my vision in regards to those videos and doing my own personal projects. Um, I, I've got my freelance work as well. And th there's a lot going on for all of us. So it would be pretty difficult to try to get like a, a group back together, but that's not the point. The point is like, that was part of the story and like we didn't last because I wasn't a very good leader. That's the primary reason I'd say to why the group didn't last. <clears throat> I think had I been a better leader, had I actually tried harder, believed in in them more and their ability and, and not have like tried so hard to be, uh, not, not tried so hard to bring stuff out of them that they didn't have, like making, trying to make each of us like a leader in our own right, right? Like, I should have just taken up that role and asked them to play the, like like my cousin, for instance, he's really good in front of the camera. He has great camera presence. So he could have followed directions super well. He could have done so many things like in front of the camera that, um, and he has ideas as well, but like that's where he really shined. And had I really seen that and taken his strengths into account, I would have just like, always made sure to put him in put him in front of the camera or yeah also like as a side note recently we, w we went to magic castle in los angeles and it was a really fun experience and uh, my cousin the same one that worked with me on youtube a little bit back then like had he he got chosen to be on stage or to be part of like a magic trick like three different times and i think we went to like five shows in total like five mini or one main show. He got chosen for the main show. I think he was the only one that got chosen for the main show. He just has that really like nice face, uh, like kind, like someone that you can sort of, um, like he, he looks like he's going to have fun. He looks like, yeah, he, he just has that presence. And I think I knew that back then, but I didn't utilize it. I didn't, I didn't like, maybe I did utilize it, but I wasn't like, I knew his strengths and I was using or we were using his strengths to the best of our ability, but also I kept on trying to push him to do something that he simply isn't as used to doing or simply isn't like as fond of doing. Like that's that's just not something he prefers, I guess, uh, a leadership role in, in that sense. And that was back then, you know, now might be different, um, but those are just mistakes I, I noticed that I, I made back then that I feel like I could have just, I could really do better now with, I'd say. And for my main video, I didn't talk about this much. I, I kind of just briefly went over it super fast. And so that's why I'm creating something like this where I, actually, I can actually talk, talk out my real thoughts, not real, but like my thorough thoughts um, instead of just like a super summary of my thoughts. Because for the main channel, that's kind of what it has to be if I want the video to be digestible. But for this one, for my personal second channel, I guess I don't really care too much about digestibility. I care more about just like the full story, like delivering and communicating and just letting my thoughts out basically, um, while also being slightly distracted about trying to find a, a good thumbnail. Um, but yeah, I don't really mind just doing stuff like this where it's, it's more, I don't know, it feels more authentic, I guess. For sure, for my main channel, I'm like, I do have a more of a performance type of voice, more of like, 
I'm on camera, I'm gonna deliver this narrative, this story, in like, and give it the feel that I wanted to have um, versus here where it's just like unfiltered, completely unfiltered. So yeah, that's, that's something that I, I've had thoughts about recently, you know, like, what do I want to do with this channel? What do I want to do with my main channel? All that stuff. And I have a lot of channel ideas, um, but for the most part, this is going to be like the everything channel that I don't really, you know, that I, I'm just going to like post whatever I want. And then my main channel will be like the best videos, but mostly it's going to be about like recently I've just been doing some projects and 30 day challenges. The Learning Japanese through AI is one of my 30 day challenges. And once I finish the challenge, I'm gonna post like the main video talking about everything on my main channel. So um, that that's sort of like what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing with the channel. The main channel is like, like recently I did 30 days of doing 100 pushups uh, each day, like every single day without rest. That one was a really good one. And then 50 pull-ups as well for 30 days straight. Um, Again, no rest. Every single day I did 50 pull-ups. Not all at once, but like throughout the day. And that was very, very uh, difficult and tiring, but I managed it. And my hands got like super calloused up to the point where there was like some slight internal bleeding. Um, but it's okay now. It wasn't really that bad back then either. But like, it was so spiky and so like, so, many, so much ripped skin on my like this area right here but during the challenge. I'll show some videos on the main video, show some clips on the main video of my uh, YouTube channel, my main YouTube channel. And I think I have a few good ones, good screenshots now for the main channel. I'll keep looking and just sift through everything and look for good expressions on my face. But for a long time, I also wanted to mention this, for a long time for this video, like ending the Dreamlet name, and I didn't even complete the story, I'm sorry. So basically after the group disbanded and it was just me who kept going with YouTube with the name, uh, for a while, like, you know, it worked out fine. I was making a lot of whiteboard videos. Um, I enjoyed making some of those videos. I think at a certain point it got a little bit stale and boring for me, but Continuing on, I tried other stuff that was related to like tutorial making because of this one video in my main channel that got like, at this point it has like 1.8 million views. And I talked about it before on, on my personal channel, but it's like, actually, I, yeah, I remember saying like, oh, you know, I could still, you know, after making that video, I should have really made more tutorial videos because, you know, that's what people are looking for and stuff. But, uh, and then I had the thought, yeah, why don't we just do that? You know, we can still do that. And then, we started making a whole bunch of tutorial videos and then I just found myself really disliking it. I was like, why do I dislike this so much? It just does not feel right. It, it feels like really boring for one. It feels like something about it doesn't feel like there's heart in it. Something about it feels like it's just so many people can make this, you know? And why should I make like another tutorial video that probably like hundreds of other people have made? I got that sort of feeling, I guess. And for me, I, I don't like that. And I, I prefer not to create more like fluff in the world, if you know what I mean. Um, that's, but yeah, I don't know. I eventually just got really, really sick and tired of it. And I got burnt out as well. It also had like my work with Skillshare when I did Skillshare, when I created some classes for Skillshare. That's also a reason why I got burnt out was because whenever I create classes for Skillshare, I have this like time frame of like average of two weeks where I just focus on creating like 14 videos that are all tutorial based and like I make it as concise as possible. I script it, I redraft it until it sounds really good and really concise. And and then I just shoot all of it at once, edit all of it at once. And so it's not like the healthiest thing in the world. It, it takes a lot of like energy and time uh, to do it. Um, it's like a marathon, basically, not a marathon. It's like a sprint for, for two weeks, like hell week, basically, but for two weeks. Of, of just video creation, video production stuff to create a Skillshare class. For me, obviously other people have different methods, but Skillshare has been a decent source of income overall. Um, like the highest I've ever earned from it was like, I'd say 900, about 900 a month. Um, and average, I'd say it's like 600 a month, but I basically don't have to do anything um, because I created the video, ar the, the courses already. And I'm also a top teacher there. So I get like extra benefits f um, for certain things. And I've, I've gotten some staff picks because they really liked my, to be a top teacher, you basically have to be invited by Skillshare themselves. They have to have view, reviewed your courses and stuff and thought they were like good enough to be part of top teacher. Um, and 
yeah, a couple of my classes got staff picks as well. So they were good. Um, like I, I remember watching my first staff pick uh, course before I actually submitted it. And I was like, you know, this is actually a pretty good course. And my goal was actually to get a staff pick. And for that course, I managed it. And I was kind of surprised because I was like, okay, this is going to be the practice course for getting a staff pick for Skillshare. Um, but it ended up actually being the course that got a staff pick. Um, so part of me is like, hmm, I wonder if it's like just easier than I thought to get a staff pick on Skillshare. I'm like, I do feel like Skillshare can be quite lenient sometimes when it comes to like the quality of courses. Um, overall, most of it is, is good or good enough. It does, it is fair to people who like don't have as much video production experience, you know, like, and they still have good information to share. And so I, I definitely think it, it makes sense for them to not make the threshold too high. You know what I mean? But overall for me personally, I try my best to always have at least some decent video production. Um, I think most of my videos can be considered good production, uh, audio wise and visually as well. This is just because I obsessed over it. Like the first year I got a camera and like, I think I got my camera at the end of 2019 and 2020 and ever since then, like whatever I start doing, I just really love optimizing things. That's like a weird quirk of mine. Like my brain just like constantly optimizes things, sometimes to a detriment. It's like, I feel like I don't need to optimize anymore, but it just wants to. Like, I just want to be as, as optimized as possible all the time. Um, but yeah, sometimes it's not very healthy. Sometimes it's not a good thing. But anyways, I, I keep going on tangents, I'm sorry. So the Skillshare stuff, yeah, that, that takes up time. What, why, was, why was I even talking about Skillshare? Oh my gosh. Right, my journey for burnout. So that definitely took out a lot in me. Um, so, so that's what, also a reason why I burnt out was because I just like had those sprints, which are not healthy, by the way. Don't like, if, if you're gonna do that, if you have any plans on doing that, try your best to spread it out because it's like, yeah, it's like basically procrastinating when you have like a big test coming up and you just like binge study, like last minute studying for for like a day or two before the test. And like all that information and all that studying make, makes you feel really tired after the test. And like you just don't want to study again until like the next test. Um, so that's sort of like how it feels to have uh, for me when I did all that stuff with my courses. Nowadays, I, I, I spread it out for sure. Well, I, I mean, I don't spread it out. I think I just became more efficient. I, I still do it in about a week or two, but I just became more efficient with the process to the point where it doesn't burn me out and it's not as hard to do, I guess. So I'm not even taking my own advice. I, I kind of just like this uh, sprint type of thing. It's easier for me to, to do it that way. Um, just like, boom, get it done and finished as fast as possible so I can move on to the next thing. Uh, yeah, so that's the unfortunate thing about me, I guess. I just have to like, an unfortunate personality trait about me is that I I just like getting something done before moving on to something else. And and that I, I just like really do it as fast as possible. Um, so I don't think that's gonna change, unfortunately, for me. It's just not healthy in the beginning, I think, um, until I actually optimize the process and made it easier for myself, I guess. So I don't know, I'd have to really break that down a bit more to give proper advice for that. But I suppose just do what feels right to you. <laughs> um, if you gotta sprint like I do to get it done, then by all means, just understand that it's not, it will cause some um, extreme tiredness and potentially burn you out. Uh, so yeah, that's what happened. I burned out and after that, I, I kind of started making way more videos on this channel actually, because I was like, I really don't want to edit videos anymore. I just like, I'm sick and tired of editing videos. Like I've done this for way too many hours in my life at this point. So I just make these type of videos where I just don't really edit it that much. I know it's not a great thing, um, but again, I have like a Skillshare class on this where I, all I do is use the delete silences tool in, in Premiere Pro and I just get rid of the silences and that's it because that is as far as I can go in terms of editing a video for, for this channel as of this moment. If maybe I get an editor in the future, if I start earning, um, this channel right now isn't monetized, by the way, this personal channel is not monetized. My main channel is, um, but this one is not. And I think it's close to being able to be monetized. I think I'm like 200 hours away of watch time to be monetized. So if I just continuously make videos that are about 10 minutes and enough people watch it, 
then I will be able to meet that minimum requirement. Um, but honestly, I'm not like banking on that. I'm not like hoping. I am hoping, but I'm not like banking on it. It's not like something I will am depending on. Basically, I'm just making stuff on this channel for fun. But if it also gets monetized, then you know that'd be great. Okay, I think I've reached the end of my video and I've taken a lot of screenshots. So up to this point, I'm just going to decide which one I want to use as my thumbnail. But anyways, after I burned out, I was just like, okay, I'm just making whatever videos. Don't edit that much. Just have fun with it. Just like enjoy the process of YouTube because that is, you know, that's why I started in the first place because I enjoyed it because I was like, I just want to express my ideas. I just want to create stuff that um, I find fun. But then I eventually made it into like, okay, try to get money out of it. Try to like follow the, like the numbers and, and create tutorials and all that stuff. But that's what burned me out in the first place. And now that I've been doing a lot of these, I feel like this is fun. This is like what I like doing. Uh, I know in Japan, I said, uh, I asked myself, I wonder if basically I just create videos because I'm bored. Like, and that statement is very, very true. The, the number one reason why I create videos is because I'm bored. Um, I think in California, um, I... I just don't really like driving, so I don't go out as much. And I, back then, you know, I, I would drive anyways. But since I've gotten back from Japan, I haven't driven as much, I'd say. Um, there were definitely some exceptional weeks, like when my girlfriend visited from Japan and we went out like every single day uh, and I took her around and all that stuff. And that was very, very um, tiring in terms of driving, but it was a fun week. So overall, I still had good energy. But after that, I'm like, oh, I'm just like done driving. But you know, driving, honestly, for me, it's really, really not a fun activity. I, I really don't like it. But anyways, so basically, I have discovered that I enjoy making videos because the reason why, like, why would I do it if I'm bored, right? It's because I find it fun. That's the reason. Like, what do you do when you're bored? You try to entertain yourself. You try to get some form of inter entertainment, all right? So that's an, a good indication that I find this whole process fun. And I think even, even if I were to like have another adventure in Japan, for instance, I still like vlogging, even though I am already having fun. Like I still do it even when I'm having fun. So it's not like I just do it because I'm bored. Uh, I do find fulfillment in it. And there's, there's more to it than, than just that. I definitely oversimplified it. Um, just earlier and in my other video. But overall, like, I, I think it's like a really nice process of just creating something, expressing my thoughts. It's like, it's like an, a journal. And I've journaled ever since I was in college. And I, all of we, I've always liked journaling. It just, it's just nice to like write down my memories, write down what I did and write down my feelings and all that stuff. It's just really fun processing all of that. And I'm also doing a 30-day a challenge right now that's um, reflecting on my life for 30 days. 30 days. Uh, I'm on day 10 today. And each day I've been reflecting for like about 30 minutes to an hour and just talking. It's like I'm talking into a microphone and for like half of the episode so far, I've, I've just like been crying, like crying every time I talk about like some, something really sad from my childhood and whatnot. I won't talk about it here because I, I'm like constantly going on tangents, but the point is I like creating and I want to do it more. And I think one of the things that really held me back was like after I burnt out and just have been sluggish on my main channel for Dreamlit, I've just been like dragging myself to make videos occasionally for that channel. And then over time, like I make less and less videos to the point where it's like, man, why am I even, what am I even doing with this channel anymore? Like I just turned it into a podcast because I had no like desire to edit and I just still wanted to express my ideas in like the smallest way possible. But it was like, not the same. It was like, it felt like a shadow of what I used to create. It felt like the effort wasn't there, the polish, the, the thing that made my main channel, the main channel. It's like my concise, scripted, well thought out, like, um, thoughts, basically well thought out thoughts, my well constructed thoughts, basically, um, were on my main channel. And I didn't do that anymore. I didn't even script like scripting for me was a thing I did all the time. Like it was basically like journaling, but like journaling about, um, a very specific subset of thoughts, but I just wasn't doing it. So, um, I, I found myself missing it and I found myself being like, I really want to get back into it and really try, you know, but the issue was, or one of the issues was I was like, I really feel disconnected with the name. This was, 
a thought I had two years ago, two years ago, and I didn't do anything about it until now. And I mentioned this in my personal channel at some point as well, like before my Japan trip. I was just like, yeah, I just don't feel like connected to the name Dreamlet anymore. It was a name that I created with my friends and, and my cousin. And I was just like, it feels so weird to continue to use the name. But it, it felt like I was just stuck to it. But at the same time, you know, I haven't posted for so long. And the channel is basically like a dead channel at this point. Like, what does it matter if I just change the name? Like, I had a debate, like, start a new channel, change the name of the channel. Going back and forth, going back and forth. And for a while, for like a good month, I, I came to the decision of starting a new channel because I was like, we start fresh, we can leave the name as is because it seems to be very difficult to change it for me. And we can start clean and just make all the videos under the same format because we did switch formats from the whiteboard stuff to basically showing myself. Um, but so it, all of it made sense, uh, except for the part that like it takes a hell of an effort to actually start a channel from zero. That it's just really, really difficult to do that. Um, but I think when like after some time, I just thought about it more and more and more and more. And I was just like, damn, it just feels so not good to leave a channel behind like that. It, it feels like it's against me as a person. It's against like what I'm about. Like for me, I, I treasure the past. Like I have like a like a saying that I, I like to a saying, I guess a thing I say. Um, I haven't really considered it an oath for a while. But it's just more something I say, like honor the past, um, live in the present and respect the future. So for honor the past, it's just like, remember it. Like this is, I actually do have a uh, an older creed, I guess, an oath that I used to say. It's more like a nature thing where it's like a part of me. So I, I would say I will remember what others have forgotten. And it was kind of sad. It was like my first real sort of um, thing that I added to my creed ever since I like, because back then I used to read a lot of self-improvement stuff and I added those things to my core values and whatnot. I had a list of core values. And then I was just like, you know, I'm just gonna drop all of these because they're not my core values. There's just like stuff that I read and I just added it to a list. So I just like threw all of it away, started all over in like 2021 or 2022, some, sometime around there when, sometime when I burned out actually. So after I did that, I was like, okay, so we started new and we just go off of my experiences, my emotions, like things that I feel strongly about. And that was one thing I felt strongly about. I felt like when I grew up as a kid um, and in high school as a teenager, and in my adult life, like I have a tendency to remember a lot of memories and events that other people do not. And I have a tendency to care about um, those things when other people have already like forgotten about it. So it was a very simple saying, like I will remember what others have forgotten. I actually wrote a whole article uh, around it um, on the medium, I think. But that creed has since changed into, I will remember everything that makes me who I am. So it's just something that I feel that, that resonates with me a lot. And that's why it's part of my, my creed. It's, it's something that is almost like an, a natural thing for me to do is just to remember. So I want to honor the past. I want to remember, remember it and like sort of like keep it as a part of me. I know technically I could still do that by starting a new channel and like referencing my old channel. But like a part of me feels like it's just more right to change the name of the channel and still have all of those things in the same channel that you can see. Like that was my progression up to this point. And I think like to me that that makes a, lot, a whole lot more sense. And the more I make videos with the same format in present day, the more those videos will overtake the old videos anyways. You know, like once I create stuff for like two, three, four, five years to come, it'll be like the old stuff is, is like the old format basically that no one really watches anymore. And it's just the new stuff that people watch. That's the plan anyways. I don't know. Uh, right now I, I feel motivated right now. I feel like I've, I've got a lot that I have in store for the main channel and that I want to do. Um, and I do feel like I'm going to try my best to make it happen, but I know that feelings can change, but I do feel like I'm going to dedicate myself for a good long while at least for the next, like I can guarantee for the next six months, but past that, I don't know. I don't know, maybe maybe I wouldn't have found the success that I hoped for for my main channel. Maybe things didn't go as well. Maybe other opportunities come up. So there's there's a lot that could happen uh, in after six months. So I, I don't like planning too, too long-term when it comes to stuff like YouTube. I think that's one of the things that 
really got me burnt out as well as just not really as excited, not really like as spontaneous and fun. Like for instance, for this channel, like I, I just make stuff like this randomly. Like this was not a planned video, um, but I, I like the spontaneity of things sometimes. And I feel like when you apply such a strict schedule to creative things, it, it does get a little bit uh, stale. So planning too, too far ahead, I don't think is, is a good idea. S six months and before it's, I think that's totally fine. And that's how much, that's how many plans I have right now, basically for videos for my main channel. I'm just trying to figure out which thumbnail is good. But anyways, let's just close off this video. So that was basically it. That's why I, I finally changed the name. Cause like two years ago, I was thinking about it. Like I was like, you know, I really want to still do this stuff. It's fun, but I feel like it's such a big barrier to still have the name as Dreamlit. Like, let's just change it. Let's just change it. That's what I thought to myself while we were, while me and my friends were, it was that one summer, that one time we don't, I don't usually do this, but we rent, we were at an Airbnb in some place like near Palm Springs and, and just like at the pool, it was a pretty nice Air, Airbnb overall, but at the pool, I was like, um, we all were in the pool swimming a little bit. Uh, my friends were trying to teach me how to swim. I can swim now, uh, luckily, thankfully. And after they all left and were showering, I was just waiting around by myself in the pool and just like looking up and seeing the stars. And I was just like, yeah, we're going to do it. We're going to change the name of my main channel and we're going to continue YouTube and we're going to try. Like, let's just give it one more try, you know? And I think for YouTube, I'm just going to continue no matter what. I, I just find it fun. But for my main channel stuff and actually trying to make it a thing, like actually try to grow it and have the numbers increase and make it like a greater source of income like and integrate it in part of my plans to 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 gain more income and stuff like that like that's a whole different story and i think i do want to try for my main channel one more time um for those things so i am finally honoring the past me that was from two years ago saying that i wanted to do it and change the name and all that stuff it only took two years to finally get to this point and i'm very very glad that we're doing it honestly it's kind of a very emotional thing for me and it's like there's so much resistance like so much like making this video despite it being like not that hard to make it it was just emotionally hard to make like me talking to the camera me finding the the b-roll and and dragging myself to edit it and stuff like that like mentally it was very very difficult and i'm glad i managed to get it done and that i'm finally actually moving forward with my plans with changing the name and doing more with the channel so this this was just a big moment that i wanted to record because i'm about to post it it's sunday october 6 so this this is when i'm actually going to post it and yeah i yeah just wanted to record this moment basically and share it so Hopefully, you know, it goes well. Hopefully um, things from here just keep going up. I mean, maybe not. Maybe I'm sure it'll be a rough start, you know, because I haven't done much with the channel for a very long time. And I kind of like basically tried my best or inadvertently did my best to self-destruct the channel <laughs> at a certain point. Um, but um, but yeah, I, I think I think it's going to be fun at least trying to trying to do it again. Like, I think that's what I care about the most. It's like, it doesn't matter too much that the numbers are going to be like low in the beginning. I just want to make videos that I, I feel like I'm proud of. I want to make videos that I feel like are fun and have like, that contain a lot of knowledge in them and things that I can um, share with people. And yeah, like I, I really, really am enjoying all the challenges that I'm doing. And I, I, I really want to share it, all my thoughts and all my discoveries with, with people. And that's like the main thing I feel is, is what is driving me to create stuff for that main channel right now. It's not necessarily the numbers, um, even though I want the numbers to be like good. It's not like, and I am going to do my best to like package it and deliver it in a way that's like um, good for the numbers, but it's not going to be uh, the main driving force, I think. I think that's what was the mistake back then. It was the main driving force back then. Now it's like something I want, but the main driving force is the fact that I feel like right now life for me is in a very, like it's going in the right direction and I want to keep riding that wave and I want to keep going with all of these challenges and, and like 
my improvements with Japanese, with piano, with、um, push-ups, pull-ups, and all that stuff. Like it's it's going well. So I just want to keep going, keep going, and and showcase my results along the way. So that's the main driving force this time around, and I think that is a very sustainable. Driving force. As long as I grow, as long as I try and do interesting projects and all that stuff, the the main channel is going to have、um, content for it because it's basically just like、um, almost like a documentary, almost like just me talking about what I've been up to and the ideas that I have and the stuff that I'm doing, which you know pushes me to try to always do cool and interesting things. And I think it's a it's a virtuous cycle overall. Yeah. That that's pretty much all my thoughts. So thank you for listening. If you ha- happen to listen through to this very very like not very coherent video, basically,、um, but yeah, thanks a bunch. Feel free to check out the the main video on the main channel. I'll link it down below. And this is it. Like I think after I post this video and then I start the next video from there, I would change the name of my main channel. So that'll be probably a week from now. That Dreamlet, the name of that channel is gonna be no more.、Um, and Like honestly, I, I I really really like the name, but I just it doesn't rep me anymore, and I discon have disconnected with it. So it's like I I kind of need that change, and yeah. But I'll I'll miss it. I'll miss that phase, that first phase of first chapter is what I'm calling it of my.、Uh, it's more like my second chapter, I, I'd say, of my YouTube life.、Um, there's there's a lot of chapters, I guess, but that's a story for another time. All right. I have not decided on a thumbnail, but I don't think I'm going to be able to while on camera. So I will just yeah. See you guys later.